The 2 2. O'Neill with the drive out to left. It is good. He did it. It's a two run shot. Tyler O'Neill, the Redbirds on top here in the eighth. One base, 20 of his last 21, 33 out of 36. At the end of yesterday's game, his on base percentage reached 460. Soto, right center. See you way later. For seven in this series and 0 for two in tonight's game. High drive sent to deep left field. That ball is crushed to the back of the pavilion oh. and on top of the pavilion. Wow. An absolute blast to left field for Nando. His 42nd of the year. It's a two-run shot. What's going on, everybody? This is Baseball Freak 075. We're going to be bringing you guys another video here today. And uh, I know it's been a while, guys. Um, I don't really know my plans with this channel. I like to upload uh, baseball content and it'll be the show content. Um, but I've been working on another channel right now. And um, I've been streaming some games, trying to just make a gaming overall uh, base channel. Um, but I'm still gonna upload from this channel to t uh, from time to time. Uh, baseball is my favorite sport, and I love MLB the shows. So content will be coming uh, here and there sporadically, but uh, nothing special. We're not gonna go over any articles or anything specifically um, like that. We're just gonna be going over uh, baseball, the 2022 season currently, and uh, why I think the players and owners just need to get their stuff together and figure it out because we need baseball guys. Especially with every, I mean, of course, you know, the whole situation going on in the world now, there's a war going on, all that, like, baseball isn't the most important thing, I get that, but over here in the States, it is very important to us, and it just helps us, unite us all, really, um, that's the best way to put it, um, and we need baseball back, um, so I guess I can go over the situation a little bit, but you guys, if you're clicking on this video, you know pretty much what it is, it's the players and the owners, um, trying to fight for what they think will benefit them the most um, obviously I agree more with the players than the owners but at the end of the day it is the owners game um, well it's the players game but the owners own the teams and they own everything uh, just like say uh, at my job if I were uh, no it doesn't matter how much they make um, they're always gonna have themselves levels above the employees because they own the business so it doesn't matter how good of a job you're doing this that and the third um, the owners are always going to maximize their profits every way they can um, now there should be a lot of uh, fair things in place for the players um, that's neither here nor there but uh, the owners have been making some pretty ridiculous you know offers I don't know all the specifics but what they offered uh, the other day as their final offer was pretty absurd especially the 16 hour meeting they had uh, meetings that day um, altogether I, I don't know why they didn't try to like put like a real offer on the table but uh, they're just wasting everybody's time they're not wasting their own time they're wasting our time because I don't know uh, about you guys, but I was on Twitter and everybody else was on Twitter. Um, we were just waiting for baseball. We want it to be back. That's our favorite sport. It's something that we need. It's something that we love. And um, I don't really know how to put it into words. Um, it's almost a spiritual thing, uh, baseball, the game of baseball and the love for baseball. We just, we crave it and we need it. It, it just helps get us through, you know, some of the hardest things in life and it just eases our mind. I don't know. Um, again, I'm not here to talk about all the specifics. Baseball is just something that helps us all, at least us that enjoy the game. Um, it's not the same as football. It's not the same as basketball. It's not the same as hockey. All those sports are good in their own right, but to a lot of people, there's just nothing that compares to the game of baseball. And... It is the hardest to play out of all the sports, whether anybody wants to admit it or not. Baseball takes the most talent to play and perform at a high level. Hitting in baseball is the hardest thing to do in any sport. I don't care what anybody says. It is by and far the hardest thing to do. It is physically impossible 
for a human to be able to hit baseballs, and you see the way the professionals do it. So that alone should tell you all you need to know. I don't know, guys. I think that will probably end this rant or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it'll be the show's going to do a live stream, so I want to catch that, edit this video, and put this up real quick. Again, it's nothing special. I'm just kind of voicing my opinion. We need uh, we need baseball, and I think you guys all can agree. Just, just putting another fan's voice out there because the players and the owners, they're not the ones hurting. It's us at the end of the day. We're the fans. We give them their platform. We give them their business. And they, while I think the players somewhat respect it, the owners aren't at all, it seems like. Um, and we just... We need baseball back, guys, so I want to thank you guys for watching, um, and uh, I don't know when I'll have another video out. It'll probably be something, uh, if something big happens, if the lockout ends, um, something that'll be the show related, I couldn't tell you guys, um, but I will see you again uh, in the future, and uh, yeah, you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Peace out. Once upon a time, there was a little kid, his name was me. Tripped the ribbon, dragged the part like a barber that can hardly see. He grew up to be big and strong, pissing the industry off, wishing they'd listen because they missed.